Fanatics View. We got Horace Richardson, you know, co-SMU teammate, old teammate of mine. Yeah. Um, you back back in Atlanta. I, I appreciate you stopping by. What, what you what you thinking about this weekend with the Super Bowl? Uh, who are you I picking? Mean, picking who I'm picking. I can't really. Make who would you pick. put your money on? If you were I, to if you were to put put your money up, I can't put my money on nobody because you know it's it's illegal. But, <laughs> but uh, if you were to, if you were, if you were, if to. I was a better man, I would tell you to go with what your heart is telling you to do, which would be Tom Brady. I'm assuming. You can't go against You him. can't go against Tom Brady. No, do you, you cannot. Do you see Brady retiring anytime soon? He said he want to retire when he, what, 45? 45. So what's that's four more that's four more years? Somewhere around there. Brady, I think I think he'll go down as the greatest quarterback of all time if he wins the Super Bowl. What you think? I mean he could, possibly. It's very he should be an argument for one of the what, top. Is this gonna be five Super Bowl rings? At least is it six? Six. This will be a six run. Number six. He'll break the record. Oh my gosh! I hope he lose. I hope he. I hope he lose. <laughs> he gotta lose. He gotta lose. Nine times. Damn. Been there nine times. Are you? And I, I know right now you you with Denver, right? Yeah, I signed with Denver. Uh, well, they claimed to me the last week of the season from Kansas City. Okay. After okay. bouncing around, I hopped from four teams this year. It was a crazy year, but I ended up. Right, with you the ended Broncos up and finishing I'll... up with the Broncos. Now, Horace, at SMU, you were famous, you know, <laughs> you, being an old team of mine. You were famous, bro, for for somehow you you never really seemed to 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 to, to, to practice so much, but you would perform so much as a high level. Which you had six picks, you had six picks, three three for touchdowns. Your last season at SMU, something like that. Something How like did that. you manage to not practice ever, <laughs> really? But your production, I mean, it, it was always there. Even I know you had bad hamstrings or whatever. Um, come, kind of, kind of your junior year, early in your years, you you struggled with your hamstring issues, and then you you transition to your body getting healthy. You start taking care of yourself, and you start you start your, your game elevate to the next yeah. level. I said a big thing was recovery. A real a weight room, being in a weight room because before before my senior year, I wasn't going in the weight room like that. Right. I wasn't big on recovery. That's really what it was. I didn't take care of my body. Right. And then um, my senior year came around. I was like, okay, I need to. You I should actually, do it I have a shot. Right. I knew I had a shot, but I didn't have the. Right. I wasn't putting it in the bank. In the bank. And right, 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 right. The recovery and just film study, man, like I knew as long as I was prepared mentally, my physical ability was going to get me to where I needed to be. Right. And Learn. then that and talking to older guys that's in the league that I know they were telling me you gotta you personally have to take care of your body. And I'm not gonna say that I just didn't practice to kind of help back on my body. Right. But I knew that I didn't want to drive my body in the ground to stop my chance from going, going to the, to the league. next level. Right. What was the biggest transition um going from college to the league with you? Uh, what was probably your, your hardest thing to to, to adjust to? The hardest thing was, the hardest thing to adjust to for me was, was playing off because in college I was always up. Right. So when right, I got right. to Minnesota my first year, they, they made me play off yeah. the ball for right. a period of time just to make sure that I could play off. And right. They knew I could press, they wanted to see me play off. So just that in the speed, the speed, the of, speed the of the game is, right. it turned up just like from when you go from high, high school, school to college, college, from college Same to difference. pros. It, it just keeps speeding up. So you take all the good players, and then you narrow them down. Right. And then you take all those good players, and then you narrow them down again. Yeah. And then right. from those good players, you narrow it down, <laughs> and you got 53 people on the roster. 53. At least you had a question? Oh, OK. You was just going. Uh, what else I want to ask you, man? Do you think, do you see the league legalizing marijuana? Or not testing for it? I mean, you, I, don't, I don't know if they'll ever not test for it, because I feel like it's too it's too public for them not to like it has to be i feel like it's kind of not a slap on the wrist when you get in trouble for it uh -huh. but it's uh for so long it's been looked down upon yeah it's something that it's, it's basically telling the rest of the world that okay we are doing something about it even even if they do just test this once a year right, twice right, a year right. or whatever the case may be unless you're going to program but for that time period i mean you just gotta 
you know, you got to do what you got to do. You got to take care of your business. Being an older athlete, you what? So when I was a, I was a freshman, you were a junior. And the recruiting process has changed, of course, yeah. from when I was in high school to when you were in high school. How do you think about these these high schoolers now to where their social media pages are like, you know, their, their, their own way to brand themselves and now kids are getting offers from Instagram yeah. videos. And how do you think that, do you think it's it's more legit or it's, it's almost kind of like, it's too easy to get it now, you know? Like you don't, don't even have to be that good anymore. I don't want to say you don't have to be good because you still got to put up numbers. Right. And But I will say social media is bringing back that, okay, what's this kid going to do? Like now it's bringing in more eyes. It's now more people can see you do it. Like I can see, we're in Atlanta, I can see what somebody doing in Cali right now. Right. Like cool. signing day, I can, I can watch this right now right. on my phone. And so like, just you the see efficient it. process of not having to call, make a call, I can just yeah. go type a name in, boom, find them, there and I see exactly what I need to see. Let's make the offer. I've seen enough. I've seen the speed. I just think it's crazy, man. You, you can you can dress your Instagram up now and, and in high yeah, school, man. and it's it's on. You 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 lit. But I, like I said, you still it's all. They're not gonna recruit you off your Instagram. It got to be what you do on the field, what you do in the classroom. That all make a big difference. How do you feel about the, the 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 public school athlete and the private school athlete coming out? Do you think there's a stigma when it comes to private school because of the competition? A lot of times football is not so as competitive yeah. when it comes to private school. You know, public school I mean, dominates. You know, in Texas, it's, what? it's Texas high school football. Right, 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 and right. then you got the, the you difference got between the private schools and the public schools. I say competition all day. I don't. I don't, want, I don't want to say competition because there's plenty of guys that come from private schools that make it to the NFL. Correct. I just think it's, that's where their parents wanted them to go. And they had the day. It's not just like you can't strength the schedule. I can't control who I play. Yeah. But do you Some think people, going against athletes that are, okay, let's say in public school, you might have six studs on your team, six on both sides of the ball. Private school, I say two. You might have a, a really good linebacker in a corner or a really good linebacker in a DB. Or an offense, you have a really good quarterback and a running back, or a one or two wide receivers. Yeah. It's the, the numbers don't transition the same. Well, that's so, because everybody can't get into private right, school. Right, right. I guess, man. I don't know. It, it's it just seemed like private school players when they get to college, they they most so don't pan out sometimes. I don't sometimes, think is that sometimes. they don't pan out. I just think is that they're used to having stuff. Right. Most kids that come from public school are kids that. Parents couldn't afford to send them to, to a private school. Right. I so I got to deal. I, I have to deal with this. So mm -hmm. now I'm working towards getting out of this. So once I go to the next level, now mm -hmm. I'm here. I'm not going to let it slip. Do you have any goals? Um, this kind of be my last question as far as uh, expectations for this, this upcoming season with the Broncos. Are you, you Definitely. know, um, this is Broncos a great organization. Definitely. Um, I look I look to to go out and compete. Right. Definitely compete for a starting spot. I'm going to get a chance. Right. I feel like I, I had a chance this year in Minnesota if it wasn't for injury, mm -hmm. and I, I had to go on about my way for not not nothing against the team, just business right. purposes. Better on yourself, yeah. Self-preservation, uh, correct. My goals this year, would, of course, would be to make plays. Like, mm -hmm. you want to make plays. Right, right, right. Not just stay on the roster, but be a starter. I want to start. Right. And then goal-wise, career-wise, like, I want to, of course, you want to run the ring. Yeah. Like, that's what it's all about. You want hardware. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel it, man. Well, Horace, bro, I appreciate it, man. Definitely. I Love appreciate you, bro. you coming stop by. Come chop it up with me. Yep. Oh, definitely. You did at Kansas get... City, right? Yeah. Pat, Pat's impressive. He's he's really impressive. He's strong. He's he's bigger than what a lot of people think he really is. Like. I mean, he's a good guy. It's not you don't. I don't have anything bad to say about him, and that's not that's not me trying to be media friendly either. That's yeah. that's the truth. Like that's just that's just how he is. He's chill. He's always he's always in the building. Yeah, <laughs> but he practices that. I mean, as a as a cornerback. You just gotta hold your receiver and hope, hope he don't throw a perfect ball that time. Cause nine times out of ten, fifteen can get it there. 
and he can get it there in a whole lot of ways. Side on, not looking at the receiver. That's just that's just what he does. But he practices. Like I've seen him make a pass with no feet on the ground, and it traveled very far. <laughs> I would just say that in practice, and I was like, that's that's ridiculous. And when he threw it, everybody was like, did he just do that? And it was like, yeah, he he did it. I mean, as a player, you can feel it. When you when you get like a leader, a lot of guys are winners. Like just they're natural winners, they're like natural leaders. He has the ability at, for him to be that young, and for the vets to buy in and listen to him at a young age like that, and get behind him and just ride ride with him. That tells yeah, you where is. he where he can be. Yeah. Definitely.